do you want to do some more journaling? Do you want to work in the journal that we made last week? I think we do, don't we? I think we do. So let's have some tea, shall we? So I'm really pleased that you enjoyed last week's video. I got some lovely comments saying that you really enjoyed it and that you liked the little scrap paper journal I made and also the fact that it was a little bit wobbly and not measured and not precise and not perfect and that's really nice isn't it to just kind of jump in and create something without worrying about measuring and getting everything precise and all that so I think that, that it adds to the character of the book. And so for this week's video what I thought I would do is embellish and decorate inside the journal and do some additions and a little bit of journaling in there as well to get us going if you like. And because it's coming up to the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022, I'm going to be doing some kind of end of year, beginning of next year kind of things in there as well. So whatever I do over the next few weeks, I will share with you in here as I go through the journey of beginning to work in my journal. And I'd like to rummage through my lace and collage boxes and so I've got a selection of things if you like to get creative and decorate the pages. I think I'm going to staple some fabric, I think I'm going to use some stickers and maybe some of my postcards and yeah just see what I can find. Gather it. So I've just been gathering my things together, my bits and bobs, and I've literally got things spread all around the room um, with different paperwork and some bells and trinkets and all my bits and bobs, my um, ribbons and laces. And Somebody asked me last week what kind of tape I used to actually bind um, the spine, and all I used was a plastic-free parcel tape. So that's all I used on there and it's really strong because it's parcel tape, plastic free so more eco and that's all I used. And the only other thing I've done in between last week's video and this week's is to black gesso that cover, the inside cover that I didn't like very much and I've left that side for now. So that's the only thing I've done. I want to attach a few different things so I want to find a way of attaching the the binding if you like around here so I thought I would make a hole in the spine in between where the signatures are so I was just going to make a little hole quite low down and thread that through and then I might add some little charms and things to the end to make it more fun so I'm going to do things like that and then I'd like to add some I think the first thing I'm going to do is add some tags and tabs so I'm going to make some of my own tabs you can get um you know like I've got a corner cutter you can get a um, a cutter that cuts out the tabs but I'm just going to do them by hand and then I'm also going to maybe use some lace and bits of ribbon um, and I found this old paper clip with a felt flower on so I ripped that off and I'm just going to put something glue something on the end and then you know that becomes a tab as well and the idea is that they, they stick out of your book so it makes it look really what's the word inviting and textural and tactile makes you want to pick up and work in it that's the idea of this embellishment session if you like and anything else to say at this point? Not really. I think I'm just going to go and make a few tabs and then come back to you. Heard you laugh in a photograph and I forgot it was a distant past When I turned to you to ask if you remembered there was nobody here 
So I'm just going to pierce a hole um, and I don't want it to be in the middle because I don't want the string to cover up the the label. So I'm just going to make the hole about there I think, maybe slightly higher. That will come through. So I'm just going to make another hole. Like so. And then I am going to grab one of my chunky needles and see if I can thread that string through. Should go through. There we go. And then I'm going to thread one of the Let's give it a little wiggle to pull it through. One of the threads through there and the other one as well through the other hole. I just don't want the, um, the ribbon to be, you know, loose from the book. I want it to be attached to the book. And, you know, you could do that neater if you want. I don't really mind. And then I've got that coming through, you see. So now I can wrap my book like so. And I think, shall I add some charms on that as well? Um, let's just put all these sharps away. This is where you can lose all your bits and bobs, if you're messy like me anyway. Move all the sharps. And, oh, let's have, let's have a little look for charms, shall we? Let's see, what have I got over here? So I've just found a couple of little bells. So I'm just going to see if I can thread through the little bells. It's got quite a small hole, that one, but... Uh, We'll give it a go. Oh yeah, I think we're through. And then I'm just going to tie that bell on with a little knot. Do another little knot as well. And then here as well. So cool, they're like little fairy bells, aren't they? And then I've wound it round twice and then I can get a bigger kind of bow situation, I'm thinking. I also found this key and I'm not sure if I'm going to use the key in here as well. I might actually attach the key. Think about that. Anyway, now I'm going to grab all the tags that I made. And as you saw, I did those slightly different because they're paper. I did them double. So I just folded it and snipped. And then the idea is that I can just glue those on like that. And then some of them will stick out of the edge of the book and some of them won't. That's the plan anyway. And I'm also going to use some of my ribbon and lace as tabs as well. So that's the next thing. So I'll speed you up a little bit and then it'll work like magic. Turn dictate and making strange demands to take the year and overall to set nature out of gear. The whole world was waiting while well, I was putting on my shoes. I hope that I'll be ready soon. Close my eyes for a second Should have never taken them off you Now I'm shrinking into your view I used to be near you Middle people So that's a few little tabs and tags sticking out and kind of cute and I've tried to choose the stronger paper especially with the staples and then I'm just looking at the front 
and I'm thinking I might add a piece of lace to the front. So let's um, snip a bit, get rid of the wonky bit and then have a piece that length. Let's keep the daisy. But yeah, I kind of quite like the way that looks. Let's glue, shall we? Just got a multi-purpose glue here. It's quite a strong one. And let's just um, put a line of glue along. I can always trim off the excess once that's um just get my little sticky thing so I don't get covered in glue. And that's just kind of yeah dangling off. Just that little bit off. Okay. Glue, glue, glue. Now then, let us clamp this down. I'm thinking I might add some more charms to the end as well. Right, so now let's have a look, see what we've got. Got glue dotted around. I'd like a pocket, pocket on the inside and a pocket on um, the back inside. And so let's see what we can use as a pocket. So let me just try and find all this journal treasure that I've been kind of making. Some of it I made a little while ago and some of it I've been making this week. I also found a nice Klimt postcard I wanted to use. I've got one of my stickers I'd quite like to use. I've also got, oh yeah, there's a postcard there of um, my little mermaid too. And then I've been rounding some corners of things, doing some little faces. Let's just get this stuff out of the way because it's um, taking over. Right, I've got some spare tabs there that I might add later. Yes, I've got a couple of little mini books that I might incorporate. Mm, thinking, pondering on those. This little book is a little um, vintage book which I've had for a long time and it's called Ashamed. So I might change the title to something different and make it into something really pretty. And then I just thought I'd have a, like a bundle of journaling cards and I think that's a little envelope actually. I might need to stick that somewhere and a little Christmas card that I really like. And then I've got my little wishing fairy book that I still haven't written in. And actually looking at it, it looks like it needs some rounded corners, doesn't it? Ooh, that didn't work very well. There we go. Wendy's favorite gadget of 2021. Cute, cute. I like to put characters in my journal. So for this week's Patreon video, I have been doing some loose, expressive faces. That was what I did. And I'm thinking of adding one of these um, to be the pocket. So maybe this one could be the pocket. Uh, yeah, some places to write. Mm, ponder, ponder. Do so I use a postcard as a pocket and then it's a really easy pocket, isn't it? Could just glue down the outside and then literally have a place to put things in. Uh, just a case of playing around with things, isn't it? So see how you like it. So I'm thinking of adding some gold ribbon to this out, outdoor, outside the book tab, if you like. So I'm just going to go through the same holes, but with a needle this time, just to add a pretty addition. And I want to add some more charms as well. So that's one side. See how long I want it. Sorry if I'm out of shot for a minute. So yes, I'll just thread the other end through. There we go. And then that can go through the other hole. Like so. Let's 
Oh, it's gone through there, look. It's actually stitched it through the black thing. Let's take that out. You need to do that. Good. So yeah, just to neaten that little bit there up, all I can do here is just get that in shot. Let's see. Tie that up in a little knot. Thinking. Key. I think I'm going to tie the key here. So I'm just going to thread Will that go through. Let's see. Luckily it's quite a chunky ribbon so it's going to come off. Good. Whoa. So let's thread the key through here. Tie. I don't want to tie that too tight because it's going to want it to wobble about a little bit on the outside. I know it's quite big but it's quite special this key. If you saw last week's video you'll have seen the house where James and I used to live and we found this key in the house and I never knew what it opened. It never opened anything if you like. There wasn't a little cupboard or anything and I think it's from a cabinet or something. And so yeah I kept that as part of um, my house memorabilia if you like. So that's now attached to my 2022 journal. Now let's put this bell back on. Let's speed these little bits up. Hang on a sec. Everything that ever made you mad A million pieces in a plastic bag And just leave it on the front step I'll pick it up when I'm in town I Find a place to hang out open night There's better things a man can be than right As if you didn't notice Like a ghost that just been hanging around So I think I'm going to use one of my postcards as the pocket rather than this because I think this will be stronger. It's a, it's a stronger card. And in order to glue it down, I'd like to use some washi tape and I've got some butterflies and also these lovely hearts. But washi tape's renowned for not being super strong. So I think I'm going to use some more Mod Podge. You can use PVA, you can use any kind of strong glue and I'm just going to put it down where I'm going to be putting the washi tape. I'm literally using what I have glue wise. I probably don't have the best glue for this job but I am a great believer in using what we have already. So that's just got a little bit of extra support. Now do I use the butterflies down the side or do I use decisions decisions you see when you're decorating that's why it's nice to have a load of stuff around so that you can actually do a little bit of trial and error and then see what kind of combinations of things you like if, if, if you know what I mean just stick that down and that gives us a really easy pocket a bit of glue swooshed out there let's just get a little wet wipe and just smush that down now I don't want that part to be stuck so I'm just gonna tuck that behind I think yeah do that and then smush that back down there I'm just gonna cut that bit off there we go now these might need reinforcing you know as you're going through the year because you're gonna be using that as a pocket but let's let that dry now what can we put in there well I'd quite like a quote here and I've got a Mark Anthony quote, my favourite quote, or I've got a Clarissa Pinkola Estes quote. This is the one that always sticks on my mirror. I might write that in here, I'm thinking. One of the other, anyway, add a quote and then add in some, some little journaling cards or something. And I'll stick her somewhere else, I'll find somewhere else for her. Put some little places to write so I'm not sure what will be in there and the other thing I quite like is this lace so I'm thinking of just stapling that down to be fair here so let's just cut that to size quite a lot of that but the colors really nice like these sort of greens and 
stuff that's going on. And I don't want it sticking out the books. I want to kind of, when I open the book, I want to see all the tabs. Is that the right way? Let's have a look. Is there a right way? Yes, I think that's the right way. So I'll stick it somewhere like that. Let's turn you around. You could stitch that with a sewing machine, but I'm just going to staple this. Ease and speed. But yeah, you could get your sewing machine out and do some stitching. I've done that before where you just like, you can stitch something on. So for example, you can get a couple of little things and then you can just stitch them together and then glue them down and it looks like they've been sewed on. It looks really cute. Should add a bit more stapling here as well. Just another three. Ooh, don't think that one worked. Let's just try that one again. Mm -mm -mm. So let's just say something as well because there was a couple of comments from people last week saying that they felt really good about what I was saying about you know sometimes we're not in creative mode. And it's okay to give yourself permission to percolate and get inspired and all that stuff. So let's just reiterate that point. And remember as well that if you're if you're watching some somebody else cre being creative, say on YouTube or something like that, then you know that's that's as good. You get a lot of benefits. Um, your hormones are going to be triggered and in a calming, soothing, relaxing way. And I'm just going to mod podge this bit of um, paper down as well because I kind of like the colours with the fabric. Just something like that over the top. And then maybe Delphine the Mermaid comes in. I think maybe she does. And let's distress a little bit as well, shall we? So with a bit of tea. It's a little bit too clean, isn't it? I don't mind if that doesn't stick down there because that will. And then I've got one of my, this is Delphine the Mermaid, one of my paintings which I've made into a sticker. So let's just pop her there. And that could even be a little sort of spot to tuck something in, couldn't it? Uh, a little something. Let's see, what could we put in there? Let's find something tiny. Mm. We like little things, don't we? So I'm just going to tie this with a little bit of ribbon. Put a little tag. Another little tag. I'm really literally just making this up as I go along. So it, it literally is the no plan plan. Get all your stuff out and use the stuff to inspire. So I'm literally just tying this around the paper clip. Paper clips are great with a bit of ribbon on. Definitely. I'll do some more of these, but I can't find my paper clips right now, so It'll just have to wait. And then I'm just going to trim that a little bit. Blunt scissors. With just a little bit of ribbon. Pop that there. You can put something else over that. And then I might add some glitter and stuff as well. So let's find the stapler. And I'm just going to staple a little um, tag, tag or tab onto here, if it wants to stay. So, and I might stick her somewhere, make like a little pocket thing out of my little Klimt postcard. That's quite nice. A couple of other little things to go in there. And then, do I write my quote? Mm, do I handwrite it or do I think I'm going to handwrite it? So let's get our quote down then, shall we? Oh, I was waiting 
Well, I was putting on my shoe. Oh, did I be ready soon? Close my eyes for a second. Should have never taken them off you. Now I'm shrinking into your review. I used to be to you. You can also see I changed that. I just stuck that over it because I didn't like the butterflies. It didn't look right, so yeah, kind of want that to be quite dramatic. And I'm not sure whether those are staying yet, but um, yeah, we'll see. And I quite like this here, shine bright, because it goes with the quote. So we've put that in now, so I can go and stick that back on my mirror. But, yeah, I've still got another quote that I might use somewhere. Maybe I paste that somewhere up here. Might be quite nice. But yeah, places to write, and obviously, you can draw over this paper, but I'm thinking I'm going to collage this journaling card. Now, all I did with this to make this one and this one, cut out some of your cardstock or collage papers. I rounded the corners and I also just distressed. And you saw me add the tag on that one, easy peasy. And then also, look, I'm gonna have to stick that down with some different glue already and then also on this one you can see that I've done a little bit of stamping so really simple just to make some journaling cards and that's a really nice way you know if we're talking about we're not really in the zone to create it's a really nice way to um, create but not have to think so just grab a load of your collage papers and make some journaling cards and then it, it gives you places to to write and whether you want to put them in a pocket or tuck them in somewhere or you know glue down the journaling cards as well it's completely up to you but I, th I think I'm going to actually glue this one down and I'm going to use I'm going to set a good old glue stick for this because I don't want really wet glue so let's glue this down and then pop that somewhere like that. Press that down, nice and firm, especially on the corners. Let's just glue that down really firmly there. There we go. So now I've got a nice little place to write on my first page. So I do like having quotes and things Pockets at the front, shall I staple that? I'm very tempted just to staple that, but I might actually sew it. I might actually get my sewing machine out. Not now, but yeah, that is another idea. You could actually just sew that and that would look quite nice on the other side as well. So I might do that with the sewing machine. I'm gonna wait for the glue and stuff to dry. Again, more places to write here so I can put my favorite quotes or you know, stamp or whatever I want. So this is just basically the journal setup. Quite like that little flap there, don't we? Okay, I've just wrapped my um, Mod Podge brush in a wet wipe and then it won't dry out, but I don't have to keep washing it because I don't want to wet it at the moment. Okay, let's move on to the next page. So for the next page, I found these rather nice pieces of fabric scraps, which will fray nicely. And I'm thinking of sticking my little lost and found person there. And I've got a place to journal here with white or gold pen. So I might just put here, a place to write. And then I have a little permission to um, write something there. I've got something to slide in between the paper here like this and I might just take that off for now and fold that down and then I can get nice and messy. Do I want that blue fabric there? I kind of do like it. Do I have different? Anything nicer? Um, I got sent a most beautiful scarf which was handmade and in fact she sent James one as well so if you're watching I still love it and I'm just thinking do I use some of the tissue paper that you sent 
Does that look nice? I think that looks nicer. I think this one. So that's where I've got this lovely tissue. I don't know who makes it. It almost looks William Morrissey, doesn't it, to me? Gorgeous. So let's get rid of the fabric. We can use that somewhere else if we want to. Tissue paper is one of my favourite things. So let's just tear some bits off. Like so. I always think if you've got something pretty, this is good as well because I've got backs of the staples there. If you've got something pretty and you're scared to use it or you don't want to use it or you haven't used it, then it's a really nice way to make yourself use it by just ripping a piece or a few bits up and then you've already begun and you don't have to get stressed about it if that makes sense so i'm thinking i want this to be quite raggy so we don't need that piece so i think i'm going to mod podge not print stick this and i need a fatter brush i would say let's get a nice chunky brush And let's get sticky. So I've glued her down with um, Pritt Stick rather than Mod Podge. And I've just made sure I've put a generous amount on the edges. And then that's going to dry nicely. So let's just fold that bit over there, that bit over there. I'm almost tempted to put a little bit of that tissue paper on this page. I wonder if I can maybe tuck a bit under. Before it sticks. Yes, I kind of like that, so should we mod podge that bit? I think we'll mod podge that bit. In a way, I prefer matte medium because it's less sticky to use. And actually, mod podge is ridiculously expensive, I find. It's not something I use that often. overlap and not be too neat. While we're in with the Mod Podge we might as well go in. Let's have a little either a business card or a little card to stick down because you find you stink, your fingers get so sticky don't they? Right. Let us off that and lids on glue and this one and I'm going to review what we've got so far I'm going to wrap up my brush in here that's what I'm going to do okay I'm not going to shut that because that's going to glue together let that dry and let that dry now put that in between and then everything gets aired and then I'm going to let that dry and then I can come back and do a little bit more. So I'm still going so far. I've just added a little postcard flip somewhere to write on the back of the Klimt postcard. I've had this postcard for years so it's a nice addition to have a little bit of history with your things and then this paper I mentioned in the last video it's really flimsy um, so I'm going to put on the back of this piece a piece of tissue paper which I've just torn and I'm just going to stick roughly on there and I'm going to use slightly less sticky Pabeo budget matte medium for this. Now the reason I'm putting tissue paper down is because I want a place to write and I absolutely love writing 
on tissue paper. So if you've never tried writing on the crunchy surface of tissue paper, I 100% recommend it for tactile. And I'm just going to go over the top with another bit of matte medium. Give it a really nice texture. And it's nicer than the Mod Podge because this can be sticky. So, I said we'd talk glues, didn't I? Now, I haven't got the right fabric glue, really. I've got some um, Yoohoo, and I've also got some um, really, really strong kind of super glue, which is what I'm using to stick the fabric. You can buy a really nice fabric glue, which would probably work better. But again, I don't have any in, so I am not going to worry. I'm just going to use what I have. So I've got my matte medium, a Mod Podge, a glue stick, which you've seen me use as well. And then I've got the super extra strong glue, um, which is I use, usually use for my jewellery, actually, but I've been sticking the fabric down with it. And then I've also got a, a multi-purpose glue as well, just for everything. Those are the glues I'm using. People always ask me about glue and how I collage things down. And I usually use budget matte medium. That's my go-to. If I want to glue pages together, I would probably go for that. And then for a top coat, I'd probably go for that. And then I used a Liquitex varnish on the front cover to seal it last week. So that's another thing you can use as well, different varnishes. So I'm going to leave that to dry and then come back to you. So remember last week we talked about flimsy pages in the middle. I said to you I think I was going to glue those two together. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. But instead of just laying glue and gluing them together, I'm actually going to put a little tab in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Pritt Stick because it's such lightweight paper. It doesn't really need anything heavy. And just make sure to... I'm making a mess, but... Um, don't worry about that. Yeah, just make sure to put it on the upper edge like this. And then I'm just going to glue that together. And so one thing that does, it creates a little pocket, which is cute. The next thing it does is it makes that paper less flimsy so I can actually do something with it. And it also covers up the ties in the middle. So three with one go. And I just stapled a little tab to this little bit of vintage paper I tore up and put some distress ink on. And then I can tuck that in there. Maybe I can add, I don't know, a quote or something on there. I'm not sure, but I've got some, a little place to stick. All right. Now this is still drying. So I'm being a bit, little bit impatient by putting this on as well, but it's, then it's growing this, all this stuff that's um, sticking out, which I like. So let's be good and let that dry properly. Be a good girl, Wendy. So because this is a journal, I want to move on and talk about more the journaling aspects of it, if you like, now. So finding places to write, also adding in quotes and journaling prompts which I think are really useful so I really recommend using them if you've never used those before and yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you kind of what I do when I want to create places to write without it just being like a blank page if you know what I mean now I will be honest this isn't a hundred percent dry yet but um yeah I'm a little bit impatient and also I've been doing this for so long that the light's actually starting to fade, so I don't want to lose the daylight for you. Um, there's a few additions that I'm going to make, and I don't need to show you every single little, you know, like I've, I've made a little title here, my happy place, and I've just got some collage paper and I'm going to paste that down. Um, I've stuck a little fabric tab on that one, which you probably saw me do a little while ago. Um, what other things have I thought of? Um, oh yeah, and I made this little tab title, if you like, so I just put a bit of ribbon with a staple, covered up the front of the staple with shiny light bright, so I thought I'd stick that there. And then the other thing, I've got another piece of this flimsy paper, so I tore out 
another piece of the flimsy, flimsy paper and I'm going to stick that on the back just to make it a little bit more sturdy. And I've folded over the torn edge there just to add a little bit of texture. What else am I adding? I think I'm going to stamp something there. This is my um, really nice arty paper, the mixed media paper, so I can do something arty on this piece. And then this is the piece I'm waiting to dry, which is going to be a place to write. So let's talk about what we're going to write in here then, shall we? To start myself off, I don't just like sitting with a blank page, especially in a new journal. And so I do myself a set of prompts. So this morning I sat down with my morning drink in here, the first thing I did, and I soul searched some journaling prompts for myself for the end of this year and the beginning and into 2022. Now, I don't mind sharing my prompts with you. You're welcome to use them if they feel right for you or sit down and do what I did and do some soul searching and, and think of your own. And you can literally go online and there's thousands and thousands of journaling prompts that you can choose so that you've got the ones that sort of resonate for you. So here's some of my prompts then. I might as well go through them all together. What keeps me awake at night? And what can I do to reframe my thoughts? Are some of my worries and fears out of my control? Do I need to simply let go? And I found this piece of paper as well. It's off a, it's off a notepad. Just a pad. I don't know who made it. Sorry, I don't have a, a name for that. But I thought, you know, I've got a perfect little place to tuck that something where I need to have faith. And then I can... I need to chop it up a little bit, but I can stick that at the top and I've got a place to write all that out. Let's just do that now, shall we? Chop the end off, divide that. I mean, you can hand write these in your journal. It really doesn't matter however you want to do it. You see, now I don't need to go through all this with you because you can see here I've got this little place to write. And so you don't need to see me gluing it down, do you? But I will do a flip through for you so you can see what it looks like. Now, here are some more journaling prompts that I've given myself, which I'm going to stick around the book, different places. My perfect day, write it out. So a nice positive one there. Are some things within my control? What is one thing I could do to bring more peace into my thoughts? What is one thing I need to forgive myself about? Write a loving letter to yourself. We always need to keep forgiving ourselves, get rid of that shame, the shame shutdown I call it. Do someone a favor and don't tell them. I love that one, it's so fun, especially when you're not feeling good. It will just bring a smile to your face. Of course, some gratitude. So I'm going to do a top 10 of 2021 somewhere. Do I feel good in my body? Are there changes I would like to make to become healthier? Now, that's really important right now, obviously, with everything that's going on in the world, to keep as healthy as we can. And if I could choose one thing, so not be overwhelmed, just pick one thing to start with, what would that one thing be? And then... Another lovely positivity one. Can I create something on my horizon to look forward to? So I think, you know, with the world in its situation right now, it's often easy to get, you know, buried underneath all this stress and challenge and fear. But, you know, we can always find things, especially in our journaling, to uplift us and lift our spirits. So I've tried to include a couple of things that are going to help me let go of fears and challenges and also bring in some plenty of positivity as well. So I've, I've had a mix. And I think that's enough for me to start off with. I've also pulled out a few words. So I'm doing mind, body, spirit, and soul. And then I'm doing past, present, and future as well. So my gratitude page, for example, would be past. And then are there changes I would make? That would be future. And can I create on the horizon? That's probably present, isn't it? Things that I need to let go. Forgiving myself is definitely past. So I'm just thinking about those key things as well within my, um, my prompts. And then things that are good for my, well, that one's good for my body, coming healthier. 
and then letting go of and having peace is good for my spirit perfect day that's going to reframe my mind and so yeah i've just pulled out a few key words as well and then i'm obviously going to use a quote or two so the three ways i'm going to find space for journaling is i'm going to have places to write like on the journaling cards that i've shown you which i'm going to make some more as well i'm going to have places to write that are you know collaged or I've done something weird to make it feel special but also I've got these prompts with space what I was thinking about is writing out here lots of thoughts about what keeps me awake at night and then what are the things I need to have faith and simply let go so that's why I sort of linked those two things together and then one more prompt I've got which I felt really sort of matched up to my little face the little characters I love putting characters in my journals. As I say, they're really expressive. They obviously have facial expressions. You can put words on them and they get just a really nice addition to your journal. As well as I've talked about before as well, haven't I? Using, you know, photographs and pictures and, you know, it could be pictures from Pinterest or something that inspires you. It could be a little drawing that you've done. It could be a little photograph of a happy memory, anything like that. But I, I do like to stick in little characters. What helps me feel relaxed, peaceful and content during these challenging times? So that's going to be a really nice way to turn challenging times into positivity. And just I can then go back to that page to remind myself over and over again, you know, if if there probably will be, but there, <laughs> there's always challenging times in life, isn't there? So that's something that I'd like to journal about as well. And I'm going to choose a page to put all that in as well. That's the plan. And I've got my stampers out and all sorts of stuff everywhere. So I'm not sure how much further I'm going to get today, you know, in between waiting for things to dry and things like that. But I will get as much of it done today. And then as far as I get, I will give you a little flip through before I go. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to tidy up this room because James is coming in tomorrow to pack all the Patreon post for November and so he's going to need some space and it's an absolute bomb site. But before I go, I did promise you that I would just give you a quick flip through of what I've got so far and I've kept a couple of bits and bobs that I haven't used. So for example, I've just stapled this little card together that I've, I don't know, I've had for years and I always think it's cute. And I'm just going to put together my, you know, a few little bits and bobs that I, that I want to keep safe into this little pocket. And then I can glue those in, you know, whenever I feel like working in my journal next. So tuck those in there like that. And they are, you can see, can I show you in there? Let's see. Can you see that? They're all tucked away safely in there. So there's a little folder. I've then got my little book, which I haven't used yet. And I'm not sure where it's going to go. A little bit of paper that I like. And also a little thing I'm going to stick in. And I'm just going to put that on the front. And I'm using this little book at the moment as a little folder to keep. I've got another tag, a quote, a couple of bits of paper that I really like. A little folded journaling card, a little print of a drawing I've done. So I'm just going to keep all my bits and bobs together, all the tiny things. And then keep all that together. 
like so. And then the book is, let's do a quick flick through of the book so far. And I'll try not to create too much shadow here because you can see I've had to put the light on. But this is all dry now. And I don't think the front cover is finished. And then we've got, if we open up, we've got our little pocket that needs sewing. Remember, I'm going to get the sewing machine out and stitch that. And I've got a couple of tabs in there. My quote, place to write, and then this little space here where I can just pin something. I might add some glitter here and there as well. I think I might add some more of this lace in as well. And then here I've got a place to write about this little person here, lost and found. So I've got a little bit of journaling in mind um, for, for this. And then I've put the rest of my journaling prompts in here so that I don't lose them and I don't want to use them yet. So I've got those ready, you know, for as and when in this little pocket. More dried flowers and a little fairy on that. And it's just a little envelope pocket I made. And then I just stuck down with them Mod Podge. And then you can see I made a bit of splodgy mess with, um, it was archival ink from <laughs> stamping, but I'm going to do something arty on that so it won't matter, it won't show. And I think there was a bit of a splodge somewhere else as well. Not to worry. And then I thought I would use this as my gratitude page. So I can write on that because it's not too dark. I can easily write on that. So this is arty paper. And then this is the tissue paper I stuck down. And I just used this little thing that my sister bought me years ago. Plus Durkano uh, plus Corporation. And it just, it's like a roller, but it stamps as well. So I just did that orange down the side and a little bit on the journaling sheet. Because she's orange, so that's quite nice. And then nothing on this one yet. So places to write and journal. And then I put another prompt in and decided that these two wanted to go in the book. So that's going to be present. What helps me feel relaxed, peaceful and content during challenging times? And I think that's um, shine when you can, cocoon when you need. And then a little secret, something going in there. I don't know, I might write a secret on that and just have that hiding. And I think, oh, I did put a charm on this tab as well. So this is one of my cabochons that I make. So I just got a little brass ring and hooked that onto there for a little charm. And I think that is it for the first signature. Yes, that's as far as I've got. And then the second signature doesn't have anything stuck in it yet, apart from the tabs and things you saw me make earlier. So that's still to go. But I thought I'd just work in the first signature to start with. And so that's what we're looking like with our little book. So let's close it up then. Put one string at the front, one around the back, something like that. And that'll even tuck in there. So I'm going to leave you in peace for now and say goodbye. I'm going to say happy journaling or just happy watching and percolating and getting inspired if that's where you're at as well. Don't put any pressure on yourself to create. Shine when you can, cocoon when you need. And I'll see you next week in the next one. Loads and loads of love. Bye for now. Mwah. Bye. Better things a man can be than right As if you didn't notice Like a ghost that just been hanging around The whole world was waiting But I was putting on my shoe Hope that I'd be ready soon Close my eyes for a second Should've never taken